Good afternoon, Rebels. Shanghai Six Front Towards Gamer Day Three Packs. Here we are. Uh, I came over to Clay for Mark of the Ninja. I ran into something completely different. Don't starve. I don't even know what to just what. This is an uncompromising wilderness survival game full of science and magic. Okay, that's the tagline, but I sat that down on it. All right, let me see if I can break this down. A third person. Um, oh crap! I don't even know what to call this. Like, what's all right? What's the point? What is the, what's this the, game about? The the point is is a survival game. The okay. the point is to see how many days you can survive in the wilderness with no resources. Um, so it's about crafting. It's about crafting your experience, collecting the resources, and and there's we've just given a whole bunch of tools to survive, and it's up to you to decide how you want to do that. You you can be a nomad and wander around and explore the world and collect just what you need to to you know keep your stomach full and, and not die and keep a little bit of fire so that you make it through the night. Or you can build a whole little village and a camp and have a home base, you know, and grow have a farm and grow things. So it's a very stylized third person Minecraft experience we're going for here. We we have uh, we have heard that many times over over the length of packs, and I think that is a fair comparison. Um, well, it's crazy. I'm just kind of. I mean, there's not. There's not a lot of explaining. There are no tool tips like, "Hey, grab this flint and then combine it with this," and you'll need a. I'm literally picking up manure and flowers and reeds, and I'm just like, I don't know what I need any of this for, but apparently I need it. So, there's a day-night cycle, and what's what's the common what what's the common thing going on here? Yeah, there is a, there is a day-night cycle. Uh, plants and trees have a growth cycle, so there is. This is an active world. Uh, the creatures you find. Uh, have their own day-night cycles. So some creatures only come out at night, and some bad creatures come out at night. So you want to find a way to protect yourself from them. Right, right. There's other creatures that only come out during the day, and different creatures give you different resources that you can do different things with. Uh, everything in the game has a purpose. We're not just throwing in, you know, Object B that's like the MacGuffin, and right, right. you know, there. Who knows what you do with the shoe you found? Everything has a purpose. So. You're going to be able to use it to survive or craft something to change your experience of survival. Okay, and the different survi surviving, you were talking about building a village. Like you were talking about these things called beefaloes, and you were like, oh yeah, but you'll need this resource off of them so you can build a farm. And it's like, what are you talking about? Like, it just, it, it feels very simplistic when you look at it based on the art design and things like that. But based on what you're talking about, it's a very in-depth kind of experience. Yeah, uh, currently the crafting system goes about three or four levels deep. Um, so you're going to need to collect resources to make something to make something that gives you something. Right. Um, so yeah, it's it, you can just wander around, pick up berries, eat them, make a little fire and wander around. Or you can get quite in-depth in it. Um, and we're still in a beta. We're still adding tons of content. And lots of the content is, is the stuff as the dev team. We're just going, you know what would be really cool? It would be really cool if you could do fishing. Yeah, let's make a fishing rod. Okay, what do you need to make a fishing rod? Okay, well, we'll find a way to provide that to the players so that they can craft a fishing rod now. Well, um, I guess this isn't going to be a multiplayer focus, event Because if you can share resources with somebody, it kind of takes away from the I'm going to die at any minute kind of vibe that I, I think this game's going for. Totally. Uh, we... we we went through de deciding whether or not we were going to put in multiplayer or co-op, and we decided this is not what this game is about. This game is about being alone in the wilderness, and, and having co-op or multiplayer would take away from that. So it's, it's not something that we couldn't do if we wanted to, but we decided this, is, this isn't right for this game. And what's the story? Like, literally, you just wake up, and you're sitting there, and some guy appears out of nowhere and goes, hey, you don't look too good. Go get him, Tiger. And it's like, what, 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 what? what? Right now, we're, we're, not, we're not exposing much of the story yet. Um, and we'll say, you are Wilson. That is your character you play as. He is a scientist, so he has an analytical scientific mind. Okay. Um, but he is confronted with a situation where he just, he wakes up on an island and, yes, Maxwell says, you're not looking so good. Maybe, maybe you should get something to eat, buddy. And that's it. That's go is really what it, that's it. That's the, all the preface you get. There's definitely some, some, as we say, there's magic in the game. There's things that defy science. Oh yeah, what? Then what's that about? There's things that defy science that you can, when you explore, you'll find and you'll be like, what is, what is this? And you can craft things that don't quite make sense in a scientific way, but you'll have to have Wilson come to terms with that and find a use for these magical things. Well, speaking of things that defy all kind of logic, you said this is on Google? Yes, this is on the it runs in Google Chrome, so it's a 
We're running an early access beta right now. Um, so you can give us $6.99. You'll get two keys to the game running in the Google, the Google Chrome browser, um, which I'm, I'm amazed what we can do in browser games these days. Um, there's other games in there, too, that are really, really great. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of amazing. We are coming to Steam as well. Okay. Um, so the Steam beta will be for, before the end of the year. And is this going to be one of those open, extended betas that just goes on for years and years? Kind of the Minecraft thing where it's like, yeah, it's still in beta, but it's really out. And you're just going to continue to tack on to it, or, or is there going to be a release date? We will definitely have a release date. We are going to continue to update content post-release date. So there will be like an official, we are out. Okay. Um, but it doesn't mean that the game is done. So, But I wouldn't call it a beta. I say we're, we are going to have a release date. We are going to have officially this is the game. But we're going to keep pushing new content out to the players. So even if you really get into it, you really, really dig deep, we're still going to put more stuff in there later on that you're going to be able to come back and find, hey, there's going to be new creatures or a new area or, you know, a different kind of resource to collect. Oh, and, make something else. and speaking of resources, you say there's an experience level in the game that you get as you learn and score and kill enemies and things like that. How does it's that work? You, the experience you get is for every day that, that you survived. The more days you survive, the more experience you get. You only collect the experience when you die. Interesting angle, but all right. Uh, we, we decided, you know, you, you will die a lot in this game. That is part of it. You know, expect to die. I think we have something like a 50% die in the first night kind of well just trying to figure out what's going on i mean yeah. before you like and that's, and that's we're happy with that this is a hard game we're not making it easy we're not going to hold your hand you know it's as we say it's uncompromising all right don't starve coming soon to google near you i don't uh, the it's, beta's out now. You oh it's out now well, there you go the full game we have no official release date for the final game but the beta is running right now so if you go to the chrome store and search for don't starve you can buy the early access beta keys, gets you the full game when it comes out, gets you two keys instead of one, so you can give one to a friend. And there you go. Don't Starve by Clay, Clay Entertainment. Certainly appreciate your time this morning. Shanghai 6 out.